You can grab this template completely for free in the video description. First, let me show you how it works. So whenever I post a TikTok video, for example, this one, VO3 is insane. The automation uses an RSS feed to notify my automation. So it triggers the automation to start. And then my automation fetches and downloads the TikTok video without the watermark and then repurposes it or cross posts it to other platforms such as here's Instagram, here's Pinterest, here's YouTube Shorts and a bunch more other platforms if you want. And to set everything up, we only really need three tools. Number one is the RSS feed, which is super handy because you can trigger this off of any social media content, TikToks, Instagrams, Twitter threads, Reddit, etc. So in this example, we're just going to use it for your TikTok profile, but it's a really, really handy tool that I recommend. The second tool is just your Google Drive. This is where you want to store a copy of your videos anyway. So this is good to have anyway. And then the third tool is called Blotato. It's an app I built to make it really easy to publish to social media platforms. The total cost for this automation is 10 bucks per month for the RSS app and 30 bucks per month for Blotato. So it's only 40 bucks per month for unlimited cross posting to in total nine social platforms. Real quick, real quick, make sure you hit subscribe if you want more automation videos like this. Okay, so let's walk through the automation and how it all works. This red part over here is basically the portion that fetches your new TikTok video and uploads it to your Google Drive. This part on the right hand side in green publishes it to social media by first uploading your video to Blotato's servers and then publishing your social media posts. I'm going to walk through it left to right. So starting with the trigger. So this is an RSS feed trigger and all you have to do is put your RSS feed URL here. Of course you can use any RSS feed that you want. Now the one I recommend is called RSS app because it allows you to track TikToks and other social media content. So once you sign up go to my feeds and it has a free trial so you can test everything out and see if you like it. Okay create a new feed, add feed and then click TikTok RSS feed and put in the public user profile. You can also put in hashtags or searches, but for this example, we're going to put in a public user profile. So here I'm gonna grab my own TikTok profile, okay? Paste it in here, then click generate. Now this app will generate an RSS feed for my TikTok profile. So whenever I post a new TikTok video or slideshow, I'll automatically get notified in this RSS feed. This is my most recent video. Make sure you click save feed here, okay? When you customize the output, make sure included images and media is included, make sure it includes videos, make sure it includes everything. I usually limit the number of posts to three. Okay, save. And then here is the feed URL you're gonna copy. So click copy and then paste it over here. Okay, fetch test event and you should see a sample output like this. So this is referring to my last TikTok video yesterday, Friday. Okay, and then these next three nodes are basically responsible for fetching the TikTok video without the watermark. So you get the highest quality version. You don't have to change anything in these three nodes. The only portions where you actually need to change something are indicated with these purple sticky notes, right? So here we filled out the feed URL. You're gonna have to set up a public Google Drive folder and you're gonna have to fill out these parameters for publishing to your social media accounts. But this three sections, you don't have to change anything here at all. All it does is it fetches the new TikTok video that you've just posted without the watermark, downloads it, and then uploads it to Google Drive. So go ahead and un upload to Google Drive. Um, the only thing you'll need to connect here is obviously make sure your Google Drive is connected and then choose the appropriate folder. Um, I have a folder called Repurpose TikToks over here. Okay, and make sure it's set to public, anyone with a link, so that Blotato will be able to fetch your videos and post them for you. You don't have to change anything here. The, the only purpose of this is if you do have music in your video, this will strip out the music uh, name and artist so that it's not in the title of your Google Drive because it just clutters it if it's in the title. But again, you don't have to change anything there. Just fill out feed URL, make sure you have a Google Drive folder and connect it. So now we've got notified, you have a new TikTok video, we've downloaded the new TikTok video, uploaded it to your Google Drive for storage, and the next and last step is just distributing it, cross-posting it to your social media platforms. To do that, we're gonna use an app called Blotato. This is an app I built for me as an influencer and creator. I've grown from zero to almost a million followers now in just over a year, and I built this API to easily publish across social 
social media platforms. Even on the starter plan at 29 bucks per month, you basically get unlimited API access for up to 20 social media accounts. Although it has a seven day free trial, just note that the free trial does not include the API, okay? So if you are setting this up, you will need a paid subscription to access the API. So sign up here. Once you log in, go over to settings on the bottom left. There'll be a short onboarding screen if it's your first time signing up. Just complete the onboarding and then you'll be able to access settings. Scroll down here and log into your respective accounts. Okay, once your accounts are connected, you will be able to see your accounts here and the account ID for each account. Note that some platforms have additional information. So Facebook has an account ID as well as a page ID. If you're posting to a LinkedIn company page, then you'll need to pass in the account ID and the LinkedIn page ID. For Pinterest, it has an accounts ID and board IDs that you're gonna need to indicate which board to publish. So let me show you how to do that real quick for Pinterest. Just create a sample Pinterest post, okay? And then click publish. And you're going to see a drop down here with your Pinterest boards. And if you click one, you're gonna see the board ID, okay? So that's the board ID that you're gonna wanna copy over here. So open up, prepare for publish. And this is where you put your account IDs like I showed you. So your Instagram account ID, let's say you're doing Facebook, you'll need to pass in your account ID as well as your page ID for Pinterest account ID and your board ID. And you don't have to touch this over here. You'll also need to pass in your Blotato API key. So again, go to settings, scroll down, and then there's a section API access where you can copy your API key. And that's pretty much it you have to fill out here. This part, final text long and final text short, just refers to the video caption we're going to use. For most platforms, we're going to use the same exact video caption as in your original TikTok video. So that is final text long. The only difference here is this trims it to 280 characters for short form platforms such as Twitter, Blue Sky, and Threads. Okay, so the only difference is this slice to grab the first 280 characters. Uh, and that's it. Once you've filled out your feed URL here in the RSS feed, you've set up your Google Drive to store the video, and then you prepared your Blotato account for publishing, all you have to do is is run the automation and it should work. And obviously I recommend publishing one platform at a time. So what I usually do is disable everything except the platform I'm gonna test. So start with Instagram. Now, now I'm gonna test the entire workflow just for Instagram only so you can see what the input and output looks like. I just plugged in my API key and Instagram accounts ID there. Now it's running and now this is uploading the video to Blotato servers and there it just published to Instagram. You can see it in green. If it's successful, you'll see a post submission ID like this and in a couple moments you should see it on your Instagram page. So let me refresh. Here's the new video that we just cross posted. It has zero views because I posted it just now and you can see the previous one that was cross posted yesterday. Um, a couple quick notes in case you need to debug everything. So Blotato is a really handy tool called API dashboard. So click on that and basically you're going to see a history of all of your API requests and responses. So if it's green like this status that means it succeeded. 400 means there was an issue okay so here for example if you open it up you'll see the issue here if you have a message like this where a bunch of things seem to be missing that usually means uh, your JSON is invalid um, so you can use tools like JSON lint for example to check that you have a valid JSON and also make sure for example for YouTube your title cannot exceed 100 characters super handy tool for debugging so make sure you leverage that and real quick if you're new to N8N the proper way to debug things for example is to scroll down here here where it says JSON and then open up this box with a click this bottom right thing here. Now you can see all of your parameters. Okay, so if something's not working, usually you can tell what it is just by glancing at this result over here. Like maybe this is missing or the media URL is missing something or your accounts ID looks incorrect. If you need help with this, you can always reach out to me through the Blotato support chat. Click this orange button on the bottom right here. And the easiest way to help me help you debug the issue is to send me a screenshot of this screen so I can just eyeball how everything looks. All right, that's it for this tutorial. So just to recap, we're using an RSS app to get new TikTok videos as you post them. This is really handy because you can just use TikTok normally, not have to pay attention at all, and it'll just automatically cross post your TikTok videos to eight other social platforms without you having to do anything at all. It just monitors your new TikTok videos automatically. Okay, then we fetch the video without the watermark. So it's the highest quality version. We store it in your Google Drive 
archive and then we publish it to other social platforms with the same video caption that you used for TikTok. Now this is the base version of this automation. Next week I'll show you a more sophisticated version that also transcribes your TikTok videos and creates long form social media posts. For example, LinkedIn or Twitter threads. That way when you repurpose your TikTok video, it's enriched with additional text content. It's not just the video caption itself. So make sure you hit like, hit subscribe and drop a comment below if you want more free automation templates like this.